Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mariam Sharif. I am from Ireland and a physical therapist by profession. Alhamdulillah, I got a chance to be accept Islam. But my question is, my father never got the chance and shirk is the biggest sin. And I want to know if there is a specific dua or something I can read on his name so that his sin will be forgiven. Sister, that's a question that Alhamdulillah, she has accepted Islam. And she says that unfortunately, her father, he died as a mushrik. So can I read any dua, anything in his name so that sin can be forgiven? Sister of the Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 48 Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 116 That if Allah pleases, He may forgive any sin But the sin of shirk, He will never forgive Because a person who has done shirk has committed the most heinous sin So if the person is doing shirk and before he dies If he repents, inshallah Allah will forgive But if he dies as a mushrik He is destined for hell There is no other option and this is also narrated in the Quran when Ibrahim alayhi salam, Prophet Ibrahim, when he prays for his father who was a mushrik, then a verse was revealed that when the person is alive, you can ask Allah to give hidayah to your parents, to your father, to your mother, to your brother. May Allah guide them to the straight path. But if they die as a mushrik, and if you know they die as a mushrik, you cannot pray for them. You can only pray that, Oh my God, Oh my Lord Allah, make from my offsprings Muslims who will submit their will to Allah. And this is the dua of Ibrahim alayhi salam. His father also was a mushrik. But he does a dua in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, the last few verses. He prays that make my offsprings those who will submit their will to Allah who will be Muslims. And we find that both his children, Ishmael alayhi salam and Ishaq alayhi salam, both of them became messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what I request to you, sister, you make a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may your offsprings be the ones who will submit their will to Allah and be on the straight path. Hope that answers the question. Just the question, which comes first, humanity or religion, it depends upon which religion are you talking about. As far as Islam is concerned, a Muslim is not a good Muslim unless he's a good human being first. In Islam, all the aspects of humanity are covered. If you ask the question, which will come first, humanity or Islam, I would say Islam. Because Islam encompasses humanity. It's like asking, would you like to pass school or would you like to pass graduation? When you pass graduation, it's understood that you're passing school also. Without passing school, you cannot pass graduation. So Islam is far superior. It includes all the aspects of humanity. There is not a single teaching of Islam which is against humanity.